Hello everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So, why are we here today? Today, we are going to learn about Tecla structures. So, we have started a series on how you can do the RCC building detailing using Tecla structures and now we have completed it. Now we have moved on to steel structures and in the last session we have discussed about how you can model columns in steel structure. Now today we are going to discuss about the rafters. So let's see how you can choose the grade of the steel, how you can choose the sections of the steel and how you can model the rafters in Tecla structures. So we have discussed this part in the last session. So here we have our column and the footing. Okay. So you can also see the columns and the footing over here in the different views. And now we are going to model the rafters. So for that, we will have to work with a different view. So let's see how we can open up the view. For that, you have to first create the views. And for that, you have to simply click on the grid lines. Then click on create views and you will be able to create views along the grid lines. How to do so? You can simply watch our previous sessions where I, I have already made a video on how you can modify the grid lines. Okay. Now I can just work with grid E. Okay. So this is the grid E and over here I can see the vertical sections. Now all I need to do is to select the beam from here so we have to go to steel and then choose the beam from here now i can simply model a beam i'm not defining the size and everything because i can change it anytime i want okay so let's model the beams first and now see what are the different things that we have to keep in mind while modeling the beams so i have chosen a profile of ismb 450 but if you want to change the profile then you can simply go to the uh, like property section from there you can select the profile and you can choose any profile that is needed by you like if you want is 225 then you can simply choose the is 225 and then you can simply modify this one okay so like this you can simply make the changes to is 175 click on apply and okay and you can modify this from here okay so if you want to see the changes then you can also go for the changes like uh, let's see is 200 apply okay and then click on modify so you can see this has been changed now if you want to change the grade then you can also choose the grade of the steel like if you want to go for is 2062 then you can go it like this okay if you want to change the class then you can also change the class like this okay so like this you can do any kind of modification that is needed over here now i am going to guide you over a simple technique how you can simply just to bring back any property or how you can just copy the properties so for that you have to double click on any section and then you will have to go over here here you will have the option of copy properties and for that double click for multiple objects okay so i have copied the property and now i will come to this beam okay now i will just click on this and you can see it has been modified according to this beam so in this uh, session we have also learned how you can copy the properties okay along with how we can model the rafters next thing that is over here you can simply just uh, click on this one and over here you have to keep the positions like this and mostly it will suffice your requirement if not then you can also choose another positions now i will go for tile vertically so that i can have different views over here okay now if you want to see the movement then you can also see it from here like you want to change the position in the plane to left then click on left and it will move slightly left okay so in the rotation if you want to bring it to the front you can bring it to the front okay so like this you can simply change the positions and now let's bring it back to the original position okay so middle top and behind 
this is the ideal position for that now if you want to uh, like uh, change the distance and you want to make some kind of offset then you can also do that like uh, suppose i want to give an offset of 200 in the x direction then i can do that and you can see it has been moved by 200 in the x direction suppose you want to move it by 200 in the y direction also and you want to see the same movement in the z direction then you can simply go for that okay so like this you can simply modify the things and your beam will or you can say your rafter will move it like this okay but i want to bring it back so i will simply bring it back to the normal that is zero zero and zero then the deforming curved beams everything has been discussed in the previous videos so let's wrap this session up over here and guys if you are liking this video then hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel along with this triclad structure series we have also started a series on how you can be a consultant so guys if you want to start your career as a consultant then you can simply go ahead and check out the description and over there you will find a free webinar go ahead watch that and book a strategy session with us thank you